as you can see, this is our green cajon. But this isn't exactly what it was when we finished the project. We loaned this cajon to our junior high and high school kids, and they used it for about six weeks every single day, sometimes an hour or so a day. And we had a problem with the tapa came off. So what we had to do is we go back and we re-glued it, and we put in small screws, about five eighths inch wood screws. You can use either aluminum or brass so you don't have to worry about them rusting. And I would suggest, since you've hopefully watched all the way through the series before you started, use screws and don't use the little finish nails. So glue it and then put the screws in about three to three and a half inches apart, just a couple across the top so you still have your corners are still loose. Now this particular cajon also was pretty dirty, the kids hands not being clean and from being moved around from room to room, stage to stage. So because this is a, a hard enamel on here, we just took some car wax, cleaned it all up. I used to clean it off with a damp cloth first, let it dry, use the car wax, rubbed it in real good just like you would if you're going to wax a car, let it dry, and then buffed it all off and cleaned it up and it came out pretty good. Okay, so what we did with this one was we kept our corners open. So we have a snap sock up there. And we put a snare all the way across here. This particular snare wire bows out and touches the top up. So you can hear the snare effect quite pronounced. So when you play it, you can just slap, snare, bass, bass and snare quite a few different sounds on it. You can even play the sides if you want a different sound there. You hook this up to an amplifier, it sounds even better. And as we've said before, we just have a small amp, so you can't really tell a whole lot of difference, but it will change the tone a little bit. So in all in all, this seemed like a pretty good success. The kids at school prefer this one as opposed to the other ones we've made. As you can see, we've got the blue cajon over here. We had the same problem, the finish nails came loose. So we glued the top of back on. We're in the process of putting the screws in. So we'll have that back in order again tomorrow. So if you want to make one, good luck with it. Hope you've read all the way through and watched all the videos so you know where to start. And I hope you have good success with it and you enjoy playing a cajon. Remember, these are not professional quality. They're for you to learn to begin with give you a chance to find out if you really want to invest big money in it. We figured we make these for about $30 a piece. We've made four of them now, so we've kind of spread our glue cost out, spread our paint cost out, some of those things, buy a big sheet of plywood, cut it up, and it comes out pretty reasonable. So if you've got a couple friends who want to make one with you, save it a little bit more when you go through it. Thanks for watching.